Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. You're getting the properly dressed foot accountant today. Uh, had to do it for you guys. Gotta look nice, you know? The YouTube channel, I appreciate you guys' support. Gotta look nice for you once in a while. So thanks for chilling. And we need to talk about the stuff that is going on today in FIFA Ultimate Team on this Friday. The second set of Road to the Final Cards are gonna be out in FIFA Ultimate Team as I'm recording this. This first set of cards is going to be going out of packs in 14 hours from now, uh, which is 6 p.m. UK on Friday. So I want to take a look at these cards right now, maybe look at a few cards I think we could see tomorrow, and talk about these cards out of packs as well, and what other content that we should see today on Friday. Could be a big day, the, re the return of that Team of the Week SBC that was pulled today from the game, a Nabry Player of the Month. Um, and of course, new road to the final cards. So first thing that I want to look, look at though is um, these cards out of packs. Now I think these guys are going to be very similar to this Ultimate Scream team uh, number two. This this set of Scream cards, and honestly the first set as well, the pack weight was so low on them, um, and there were not that many pack SBCs. There there have been less pack SBCs for this promo than there were during um, Ultimate Scream. These cards are more hyped up during. For, than Ultimate Scream cards because they're live items based on Champions League games. So I think a lot of these cards have the potential to rise out of packs, even though they've already risen some already. Militao being literally the most in-demand center back in this game um, has gone from 400k to 500k already. I could easily see him being 550k out of packs uh, tomorrow. I think Allen could go up to 350k easily. Um, Juan Jesus is somebody who I'm personally thinking about picking up because I mean, look at it this way. Juan Jesus, if Roma um, gets that, that upgrade, if he gets that upgrade for going to the knockout rounds, um, and this is a card that a lot of people are using, He's going to get this, a similar upgrade to what Militao did. Militao went from an 81 to an 84, and these cards get upgraded in a Team of the Week-esque upgrade. It's not just a plus one. It is a Team of the Week upgrade. So Militao went from an 81 to 84. He got plus two, plus four, plus six, plus four, plus three, and plus three for his stats all the way around. And if you give that stat boost to Juan Jesus, he's going to be a beast-looking card. He's going to have 82 shot, 85 defense, 86 physical, um, 71 dribbling, and that's going to increase a lot of his stats down here and make him look like a beast card. Now, obviously, his upgrade wouldn't be for a while. It's going to be in like December time frame when all the teams that are moving on are confirmed, but I'm just looking at cards that are going to move up out of packs. I'm honestly surprised a little bit uh, at how little games this card has been used in. 2,500 games for Juan Jesus, um, but of course this reading is taken from the number of, uh, cards that are on the market and how many games played they have on him. This card's going to have a lot more supply than somebody like Militao who has 14,000 games. Um, obviously this card is more rare. It's higher rated. So that takes, that puts this number into, you know, they're not exactly the same comparison between those two cards, but this card's way overhyped, but that's what I'm kind of looking for is I'm mentioning, thinking about maybe investing in, in a few of these cards out of packs. Now, some of the guys that I like the most, this Wendell card, left back, he is Brazilian. I know that we got Tellez in the team of the week this week, but this guy is Bundesliga. He is Brazilian, Brazilian left back. He's got four star skills as well. He's got high medium work rates, 23,000 coins. I mean, it's a solid card. It's 8,000 games played. He's been used a lot. I'm a fan of that one. I'm a fan of Kingsley Coman, and I'm a fan of Jadon Sancho. I'm really a fan of this card, but I'm not going to be buying this one before Friday because of the possibility of the Player of the Month Serge Nabry card coming out. Lewandowski got a Team of the Week this week. That doesn't really mean that he can't get a Player of the Month card, but I think Nabry might take the cake for Player of the Month, and I'm a little bit scared that if Nabry does come out and he is right mid or or left mid because he played a lot of 4-2-3-1 on the left side. So either a left center attacking mid or a left mid position in the month of October for Bayern. Uh, I was looking at some stats tonight. So there's a possibility that Nabry, if he does win player of the month, could be a left side player. So I'm going to stay away from Sancho and stay away from Coman. Although if I do see that the Nabry SBC is way overpriced or if Nabry doesn't even win, if Lewa wins or somebody else wins, I would be very inclined to invest in some of these cards. But I'm going to hold off on a lot of the investing. I might buy a few Juan Jesuses, but I'm going to hold off on a lot of this investing probably until we see what happens today on the game 
for content because obviously you guys know we had that SBC today, the guaranteed team of the week upgrade that they botched up. There was not supposed to be an, an inform requirement in that SBC. They took it away after 15 minutes, but the damage was done. They had to pull the SBC uh, and they're going to re-release it. They said in a tweet, they are going to re-release it and that they are going to grant back the uh, informs that you put into that SBC. So if you did an SBC in that time frame, you'll probably be able to keep the player, but you'll get your inform back that you submitted. So it is what it is. I do think that SBC is going to come back out and that SBC will again take a lot of coins off the market. It's untradeable, so it might not have the same effect as a tradable SBC would, but it's still going to be sucking coins off the market. People are going to be trading in their cards and from their club and selling cards to go do that SBC, to go do five of them, maybe 10 of them, maybe just to test their luck. Even most people doing one or two. That's a very smart move by EA. You're taking 20, 30,000 coins off the market, just like this. If people do a couple of those SBCs, or if you're doing Toko Akami, I think he's somewhere in that pretty cheapish range as well. Pretty nice card, by the way. Four star, weak foot, three star skills, great finishing. Throw a chem style on him, he'll have over 90 finishing. Um, great looking card right there. Nice little player of the month card design as well for La Liga. Um, but again, back to the, the like player of the month Nabry stuff. That's why I'm kind of staying away from the Coman. And to be honest, I am a little bit scared of investing in these road to the final cards out of packs again, because of that possibility that, um, that we could get that Coman or that we could get the, um, Nabry SBC and the fact that the team of the week SBC should be coming back out because that SBC has a lot of demand. And, um, we saw today when the SBC came out, we can actually look at a few of these cards today. When that SBC came out, Militao actually dropped a decent amount. Militao was 520 K earlier this morning. The SBC came out midday. He dropped down to 400. 96,000 coins. So we dropped down a decent amount after rewards and after the SBC came out. I think some of these other guys dropped as well. John and Sancho today was, he was 230 and he dropped down to low 220s, which is closer to where he is right now. So again, a lot of these cards did drop. And I think if you see the SBC come out again today on Friday, you might have an opportunity for those cards to drop again, just because um, people will sell these cards. Some people on this game will sell these cards to go do one of those SBCs. So that's my biggest thing. Again, today we should be getting that upgrade SBC again, the second batch of Road to the Final cards, and that Surge Nabry. But I'm still kind of interested in buying these cards out of packs. I would watch and see what happens tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK, maybe before you look, take a look at some of these Road to the Final cards. But again, they're just so freaking rare um, because we the most supply that we got for these cards was on that first initial weekend. And that's why you have seen a lot of their prices just only go up from there. Militao was 400,000 coins on Saturday and Sunday last week. Now he's all the way up over 500K because he was just packed m so much on the weekend. Uh, and we haven't had any supply during the midweek portion of the week. We haven't had any pack SBCs this week for these cards, which is honestly crazy um, to me. So that's what I think about those. Some upcoming predictions for maybe the second set of these cards now again the second set of these cards out today is it's going to be available for three days so these cards that you're going to see today only available for three days friday saturday sunday i think until monday at 6 p.m uk maybe it's even sunday at 6 p.m uk the 18th whenever that is i think it's monday well i don't know we'll figure it out but those cards will be in packs for only three days. So that is uh, a very short time span. I do imagine that they will be supplied, but you're gonna have a lot of people on this market, a lot of traders just using their common sense. And it's gonna seem like a very, very good card to invest in because of the lack of supply. But I also feel like that maybe EA was trying to um, make both sets of these cards lack supply by, because they didn't, they didn't supply the uh, first set that was in packs this whole week. They were very low supply cards, kind of like uh, screen cards, how I compared them earlier. And these next three, these next uh, set is going to be in packs for only three days. So maybe they're trying to keep the supply similar for those and for these cards on the weekend. And maybe this weekend they're going to just hammer out the new cards. I mean, Pogba is a very possible, a very possible um, Europa League item that we could get that would sell a lot of packs for EA. You know, it all it, it, it comes down to does EA want to um, who is EA going to put in to sell packs? I mean, Gabriel Jesus is another one. I have him on the thumbnail today. 
I could very well see this card get in because right now we have a Mares card, maybe another attacker, uh, or maybe, um, you know, we've already had a defender in um, Odomendi from Scream. I don't know who else they could put in from City, but I feel like another City player gets in. I feel like a lot of the players that you see from this current squad from the first set, there weren't any duplicates on teams. You're going to see again, I think, a lot of these teams, probably another Spurs player, definitely another uh, Liverpool player, unless they just use Joe Gomez as the second Liverpool player, another Real Madrid player, um, Bale is a possibility, maybe Benzema or um, Modric would be a possibility as well, maybe even like Vinicius, maybe they actually give him a card even though he didn't win the SBC, <laughs> who knows, um, but even... Even Chelsea, probably you see another Chelsea card, a uh, Juventus, Piemonte Calcio, Dortmund, and stuff like that. You're going to see a lot of these major teams. Barcelona is probably going to get another one. Um, you, I bet you see a lot of these hype teams used again. Actually, do, we didn't get anybody from PSG, did we? Yes, Neymar. People are thinking Neymar this week or today. That could be a card that we get as well. So, the you know, it kind of depends on how hype the team is today as well as some of these cards. If we see, um, you know, even some complimentary goods, let's say they put out another right wing, like let's say they do, like heaven forbid they do Salah. Let's say they put Salah in for one of these cards. I mean, it's probably not very likely, but let's say they throw Salah in. He's like 300,000 coins. Mahrez right now, his road to the finals, 300,000 coins. If they put a Salah in, you're probably gonna see Mahrez's price drop because again, there's gonna be another right wing in the Prem that would be a road to the final card. So there's a possibility for that as well. Um, but I think I think the second, the second set is gonna be pretty hype. I mean, this first set, honestly, when we saw these cards last week, uh, the player selection was unbelievable. These are all overpowered, popular, and used meta players on FIFA. And we were just shocked to see some of these cards that we got. So I think they're going to continue the trend with these road to the final cards and make it a good second set of these cards for this weekend. And again, I would expect a lot of content this weekend. I would expect SBCs. Another player SBC, I think, would be something that would be very easy uh, and very possible for us to see. Joe Gomez expires tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK. Corona will still be out and Willian will still be out until the end of the promo. But I do think we'll see another player SBC. I think it's possible with this second set. So that's uh, something to keep in mind as well. But again, we don't have any PSG players. I totally forgot about that. I do think we'll get a PSG player uh, in tomorrow's set of players. And watch for that to be released early. Last week, they released the second set of players early before the 6 p.m. drop with that live stream with the pro event. There's not a pro event this weekend, but there is a possibility they could release players again and tweet out the team at the, uh, I think, what is it, uh, 3 p.m. UK. They could tweet out the team again. Uh, and we could see some market movements along with that. But I would definitely say that we're going to see more promo packs this weekend. Probably some 50Ks. I mean, right now they have 35Ks in here. Less than 1% chance of packing those players as always. Uh, and I would watch what packs we do get tomorrow. But again, the first set is going out of packs unless EA changes something. We're probably going to have a Team of the Week upgrade SBC, Bundesliga Player of the Month, um, and of course the set two of the road to the final card. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Again, if you're investing in these road to the final cards, like I'm really looking at Wendell and Juan Jesus, I'm probably gonna wait to pull the trigger. If I have to buy one or 2,000 coins higher tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK, um, instead of maybe overnight tonight right now, I would rather pay the extra 1,000 coins than have to know that there's still a risk of these cards being of dropping in price because of whatever reason, if EA puts them back in packs for the weekend, or if a player of the month Nabry comes out that makes Sancho's price drop because the Nabry SBC is very valued and very good. If we see a Nabry SBC tomorrow that is very good value and it's cheap and it's a good card that's upgraded, you're probably gonna see Sancho drop in price if it's right mid, and if it's left mid, you're probably gonna see Coman drop in price. Either way, it's gonna be a phenomenal time to pick up on those cards because these road to the final cards, again, are live items that will be good and used for you know the rest of the year, at least for the foreseeable like five months. So definitely keep an eye on some of those things um, as well. And again, some people have been pointing out what's the best way to find if these cards are used. I mentioned it a little bit earlier on in the video. But if you look at games played, click on the card itself and look at this number of games. These, these cards have been only in packs for a week. 9,000 games for one of these cards in a week is honestly pretty good. If we look at, let's go look at this last team of the week that just went out of packs a couple days ago. 
What about one of the most hyped players in this team of the week? Uh, Timo Werner, 27,000 games played. How about Kyle Walker? Uh, 17,000 games played. So Timo Werner is very hyped, is obviously, with that. But 17,000 is on the higher end. Um, and some of these guys, even John and Sancho, 12K, that, like, that, that's pretty high up uh, for a card like that. For one week, the card being so rare and stuff like that. So a lot of these cards are getting used. People know that they're live items that they're going to upgrade. So they're going to have hype and they're going to rise out of packs. But again, invest in those at your own risk. I'm telling you right now, I'm probably going to buy a couple Juan Jesus and probably a couple Wendell as well, just because I think people are trying those cards out. They're having fun with them and they're getting used in this game and their upgrades could be pretty good. So those are my thoughts on those cards. Have a great Friday. Hopefully we get some sick content. Another player, player SBCs, um, packs, in the in the squad battle section team week upgrade as well that'd be cool just to create some market panic fluctuation and make some coins off of that we love to make some coins right all right boys well if you enjoyed the video today smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nate foot accountant catch you guys later peace out